Hi, I'm Aziz, and today I will be showing you three different variations of RDL, also known as Romanian deadlift, and I will also be showing the process and correct techniques for the workout. The main purpose and target of this exercise is the glutes and hamstring. Before attempting the RDL, here are some things you need to remember. First, you're going to have your feet hip width apart. The second thing is you're going to need to keep your spine in a neutral position. The third thing to remember is you're going to squeeze your shoulder blade and send your hip back. And the fourth thing to remember is you want to put the weight on your heels and squeeze your glutes on your way up. This is the first machine that I will be using for the RDL. This machine is called a belt squat. And this is me taking off the previous attachment on there that's used for regular squatting. And I will be adding my preferred attachment on there because I feel like anything longer would just be a pain. Here, you, um, this is me putting my preferred weight on it. And as you can see, I am keeping my spine in a neutral position as I go back and I am very well squeezing my glute as I go back up. This is the second machine or second variation that I will be um, doing for this exercise. Um, this is me using just a regular standard barbell for this um, workout. Um, as you can see, I am pulling it up my heels and I'm keeping a, um, a neutral position, squeezing my glute as I go up. The next variation is making use of dumbbells to perform RDLs. Um, this is me grabbing my preferred weight and um, making sure that I'm driving low and throwing my hips back as I go back up, driving low throwing my hips back as I go back up. And I'm also making sure that I'm squeezing my glute. So that way my hamstring and my glute could get overloaded. And that way I can have a nice pump after I am done working out. And that way I can feel everything that needs to be felt after I'm done with the workout. Um, one thing to remember again is to make sure you throw your hips back and you make sure you squeeze your glute. That is very important and yeah. And the last thing I want to point out is please and please do not be ego lifters. Make sure you grab weights that you know you're comfortable repping. And by repping, I mean by you're comfortable going multiple, multiple times without, you know, getting hurt. Because this, if you grab weights that are too heavy for you, you are not going to be able to um, get the right workout that you want to do. It's not going to target what you want to target. And... Worst case scenario, you can end up with a really bad back pain that could last you for weeks or, or months even.